What happened to Angela Pleasant? You're a teeny tiny. Hello everyone, it's Deli here at Rob Mabelli and welcome to the next part of playing The Sims 4 University, Discover University. A lot of you guys have been commenting about my tea and how much I move and how many of you guys get stressed that I'm gonna spill it. The thing is, I spill the tea all the time, which is why I have like a $13 keyboard. Um, so don't worry you guys, I've done it plenty of times. Nothing new, don't stress. It's all good. So get comfy, get a tea, snuggle up and let's get into it. All right, you guys, jumping back into the game. It is uh, quite a cool spring morning. It's about 5.50 in the morning and we did have a pretty late night. Uh, today we start classes and oh my gosh, Vlad was just here chilling out. That's pretty creepy. And ew, what is that? Like, uh, is that like a chicken in the middle of that pile surrounded by a green goo that someone's been making? Seriously gross, but how cute is this? You can see like our roommates asleep in the same room. I kind of love that, how everyone's asleep in their little bedsies. I mean, the whole house is full now. It is so cute. Oh my gosh, what time is our class today? You guys, we have class in 25 minutes. Oh my gosh, and we are so, actually we're not, we're not that tired, but we're a little bit tired. <gasps> We've got our book and we're off to school for the first day. That's so exciting, Florence. Uh, you are not having much fun at uni. <laughs> But she is off to class right now. Oh, girl's running to class. Do you know how many times I did this when I was at uni? Why aren't you using your bike? Don't we have a bike in your inventory? Oh, because she's just running into here. Fair enough. Have a good day, sweetie. Oh, hello. Are you just gonna stand there? Hello. Okay, good. She got to class. Good job. I was a little worried then that she was having a little bit of nerves and not wanting to walk in, which is fair enough. So in the last part, we did, I think, get all of our homework done for all of our classes today and we have all our classes on the one day and then we have a day in between. So we've actually got a pretty good setup for our class schedule. Florence turned in her homework confidently that cl that class and squeezed every bit out every bit of knowledge that she could get out of it. That kind of effort will surely be a great help to her final grade in the course. Now in Sims 3 we used to have oh Girl, push-ups in the rain, that's tough. Oh, look at us on our little bicycle. Off to school, off to school, <laughs> off to school with my notebook in my hands. She's like, wow, I can't believe I finally made it to university. This is so swell. I love it when they dismount the bike and they put it up on their little their little thing. Although I kind of stress that someone would steal the bike if you left it there, but I guess that's why they pick it up off the ground. Our next class is our parenting class, which is our elective. So it looks like we're just having a little boogie, you know, to get in the mood for that class. Oh my gosh, our mood is amazing. I swear I did not cheat that. Um, Let's ask this guy about his degree. <gasps> and we have our best friend, our new BFF who we, who we share a room with. Let's talk about the rain. You know, talking about the weather, you can never go wrong, right? Uh, Shire is majoring in culinary arts. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Oh my gosh, and someone bought a whole chicken over. This is this is so what it's like living in dorms. Like people don't clean up the food and then there's like a lot of trash. Wow, it looks like these two got cozy pretty quickly. I love how he goes to the trouble of not only dyeing his hair blue, but he also dyes his eyebrows and beard blue as well. I mean, that's a lot of effort for your aesthetic. What in the world? There's also a lobster thermidor here. I don't really get why there's so much fancy food constantly around the dorms. Like I get that it's funny, but it seems like it's like always super fancy food. Oh, and I just checked in our aspiration. We wanna achieve level three research and debate skill. Okay. All right, Florence is here at her second class in this building. And then we have one more class at the end of the day uh, in about 10 minutes. So her elective is next and she, does she come out of this room? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Larry. It's Larry the lobster. Oh my gosh, I love, can we please date Larry? Quinton, oh my gosh. Okay, Florence turned it in her homework confidently. la di da we already read that. Um, and she's off to her last class, but I really wanna get to know this guy. Maybe if we just do like a friendly introduction, he'll just stop and wait for us. No, he's not gonna do that, damn it. I think it would be so cute to date the guy in the mascot outfit. That would be so good. And in The Sims 3, in the UI over here, there used to be a bar that showed you your progress. Um, it was like a green bar. It was kind of like a vertical needs bar. So you could kind of see 
how you're progressing through your um, degree, but they don't have anything visual for this. You have to like go to the trouble of asking your teachers how you're going. It's kind of ambiguous. I wish you could really just see it um, because there's a lot of reading with all of these pop-ups and I don't know, I just think it would be good for them to have done that again. Oh, well, that's just my feedback for the pack. Oh, Shia, hey guys, complain about professor. Actually, who is our professor? Because we always spoke about maybe getting to know our professor uh, a little bit better, which, oh my gosh, Thomas Jabari. Jabari? Thomas Jabari is one of our professors. Okay. And do we have any other professors that we've discovered yet? Jing is also a professor. Professor Jing. Okay. Mm, I mean, I think it'd be cute to get to know our professor. Not that I'm like into that, but in Sims, I'm into that. Oh my gosh. They just shower without any curtains or privacy. Dude, I, I, is that normal? Is that normal? Am I like super uncultured or something? Because I just find that really inappropriate. Oh my gosh. Imagine if you had wicked whims on. <laughs> Anyway, we're pretty hungry, so maybe we should head on down to the common area. Uh, we could also go over here and deface. Oh, let's yarn bomb, because if we yarn bomb, it's kind of like a cute way to deface something. Like it's not actually, it's it's creating art, okay? We're doing the university a service instead of a disservice. <gasps> Look, what happened? Oh, she's feeling angry? Why? Caught red-handed. Oh, cause the other Sim caught us during the prank. Oh, so this is mischievous. I think that looks really cool. I reckon we did good. <laughs> oh, well, it's a little bit cheeky, but you know what? It, it's cute. All right, well, let's head over to the commons and let's bring our best friend, Angela, because we're totally about Angela. We wanna be BFFs, that's like our goal for the LP. Not even to finish our degree. We just want to be BFFs with Angela. Yay. Oh, hey, everyone. Oh, hey, Angela. What's up? Ask about day. Uh, let's be nice. Discuss art pieces. Ask about inspiration. She's just so angelic. She's so lovely compared to her sister, who's like super tough love. She's like soft love. But this was probably really cool as well. You know, one day we could maybe even move in with the twins, you know? We should definitely try commuting to uni or living off campus next semester. Oh, and we can probably also get our debating skill up over here. That would be a good idea. Let's ask about Angela's degree. Is she an art degree as well? I've forgotten if we already knew that about her or not. And I wonder if she has a job. Like, Angela, do your parents pay for you to live in that house on campus? Because that would be so expensive. Or do you like work for the money. She's majoring in art history. Oh, wait, that's the same as us, isn't it? Are we, yeah, she's, oh my gosh, she's in the exact same course as us and she's unemployed. So she just uses daddy's credit card. Wow. I mean, if we're gonna judge by appearance, she definitely looks like the kind of girl who might enjoy daddy's credit card, but in like a humble way, like she's, she knows she's really lucky. I think it's the pastel colors and like the ankle cut off jeans. It's just very well put together. Not like me who like went to all my uni classes in tracky dacks. <laughs> okay, we're starting to know her a little bit better. Well, we definitely need to get something to eat. What should we get? Let's get some, uh, oh, butter scotchman cupcake. Let's get some spaghetti. Don't touch my spaghetti. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's sit near Angela and just watch her whilst we eat. Oh my gosh, hi Angela. I totally forgot you were still here. She's like, oh, this girl again. Enthused about meal. This spaghetti is really good. Oh, did we make a new friend over here? That's nice. Not that we really care about anyone other than Angela. Oh, take a seat, girl. Ooh, Angela's a little bit of a foodie as well. Maybe we can like cook her dinner at her house because we don't have a kitchen. I mean, that's a cute idea though, to go to someone's house and offer to cook them dinner. That's that's so nice. <gasps> Angela, are we friends? Yes, we're finally friends. We're one step closer to being BFFs. Eat that spaghetti, girl. And then we could get a quick little practice of um, debating in because we wanna, we do wanna level up in our aspiration. I wanna finish this aspiration. So I don't know, we can, I guess just practice debating. Let's just go for practice. I've never used this before. So the question is, was Thomas the tank engine a protagonist or a antagonist? When you look deeper into the children's TV show, you may realize that it isn't as it seems. 
Did that children's TV show Thomas the Tank Engine glorify the mechanical obsession we have in today's society? I ask you to think about that. Thank you for your time. Mic drop. Oh wow, we've already achieved level two out of three. That's good, yeah. This guy's thinking about our debate, being like, wow. Ew, what kind of food is this cafeteria serving? That'd be nasty. Everyone's gonna end up with food poisoning. Oh my gosh, it's like two in the morning. Stressing. Okay, you gotta go to bed, girl. She exhausted. She exhausted and I hope tomorrow she wears a different kind of outfit. Cause we've been wearing that like every day. Okay, let's go in here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like too scared to use this shower with people walking past and um, I can't go into build mode to get the shower curtain Pudding curtains kind of like shower curtains. Okay, hopefully no one comes in. I mean, I guess we could lock the door Lock the door for everyone. Okay, lock the door for everyone. This is what I would do I would like shower at 3 a.m. in the morning so no one could see me and lock the doors <laughs> All of you guys can wet your pants you know, I actually used a Shiwi a few months ago. I can't remember if I told you guys, but I actually gave it a go. And I had a couple of friends over when I used it. And uh, let's just allow access to everyone. And I was like in the bathroom using it and they were yelling out to me. They're like, how's it going? And I'm like, it's going really well because it was working and I was going straight into the toilet while standing up. It was the most powerful feeling like I was peeing like a champion pee. It was amazing. And then I got so confident. I started laughing and then it like went all over me. The she wig did not hold the laughter <laughs> and they were like, oh no. So yeah, that's my she wig story. I didn't, that was really random, but true story. Oh my gosh, Fletcher. Hey, I heard you became friends with Angela Pleasant. She's pretty cool. How do you even know Angela? He's like so keeping a close eye on what we do at uni every day. It's really sweet. Oh, it's raining. Oh my gosh, this gives me memories of when I was at uni in my dorm, just like sleeping while it was raining outside and it was so calm and oh, I love when it rains and you're in bed. It's so cozy. Time to get up. And uh, we should probably do a little bit of painting. You know what, let's go to our mini fridge. Where's our mini fridge that is communal? Uh, let's see, let's maybe have some peanut butter and jelly sandwich real quick. Let's get that out of the mini fridge. Just have a quick snacky wacky, a wacky snacky. And then once we have that, I think what we should probably do is we have a lot of study to do. Like I wanna ace our course so then we can get into the workforce and just get a really nice lump sum of money. Like I wanna see how much money you get when you enter the workforce with, with a <laughs> distinguished degree and if you do well in it. Um, So I do wanna study today, but I also wanna make a little bit of money because we've only got 124 simoleons. Like we so broke. Also, someone else said you should do the babysitting part-time job because if you do babysitting, then you can get your parenting skill up as well, which will help out our elective. And when we're older, we'll be really good with kids as well. So that's not a bad idea. If we kind of get over all the painting, we can always go into babysitting. Uh, are you hitting on us when you're like hooking up with another girl in the dorm? Like, I don't know. Oh, hi, the roommate's boyfriends. Are you gonna like always be staying over? But can you stop like all the kissing in front of us? Dude, why did you just take a picture of them? <laughs> She's like, new couple alert. She's probably the chick in this dorm who runs like a gossip girl page for the dorm and like posts everything. <gasps> Excellent, sell to collector, beautiful. Let's get a bit of $300 dues right there. Okay, um, let's just go to the toilet real quick and then I wanna get crack a lacking on our homework for shizzle my nizzle. What is that? I don't think we ever open this. Okay, let's do our homework for brushes with greatness. Then we'll do our homework for the other one. And then we'll do our homework for parenting. What? She has not been awarded the Brindleton Bay Resident Scholarship. Oh my gosh, that's so rude. We like have so little money. It's so upsetting. Can we check for scholarship? Okay, can we apply for another scholarship? <gasps> I want to find more scholarships. Like, how do we make more monies? I think we have to work for our money, which sucks. University. Let's see if we can apply for any other scholarships. Maybe we can just keep applying. Oh, you look so sweet while you're doing your homework. Yes, go girl. Oh my gosh, roommate goals right now. Also, just a little eye for detail. I love how this poster has the fold lines on it. I think that's really cute. Oh, this girl looks cool. 
Hey, Liliana. Oh, we're having a roommate party? Oh, okay, roommate's party. All right, uh, let's get to know you a little bit. Um, This is kind of awkward. I'm trying to get my homework done. Like everyone's interrupting me. Okay guys, no offense, but we're just not gonna get our work done. I think we should go to the commons or the library or something to study instead, because it's already like nine o'clock at night and we have school tomorrow. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Angela. Okay, we've gone outside uh, just below this statue to do our homework because like, come on you guys, it's just getting too stupid and crazy up in our dorm room. We also want to make some offerings for academic success over here. So we need to, I think they like cookies and I think they like rare collectibles. I wonder if there's any collectible points around here. Are there any collectibles? We need like a rare crystal or something. Something rare. I don't, oh, oh, here we go. Here we go, we can dig that up. Oh, we just reached level two of the parenting skill. I love this idea as elect an elective. I mean, how good is that? You can get ready for later on in life when you have a baby whilst you're at university. This is what they should teach you in school. Girl's getting off her bike and she's like, damn, I'm gonna get this real quick. I love how the bike just goes into their little pocket. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can make an offering. We're also gonna be so tired for class tomorrow, but you know what? That's that uni life. Oh, she got really excited then. What? It, oh, it's just a time capsule. Yeah. I mean, we can sell whatever's in it, which is a good thing. Get some more cash, but we may as well go home. Okay, my game is like spazzing out because the bike thing's not working. What happens if I just teleport over here? What is happening? Let's just reset her and see if she can go home. It's 5 a.m. and cause my sim was like, like going crazy. We couldn't get home. <laughs> also, I wanna open this up. Ooh, nice. Oh, we can only sell it for 20 small ones. It's like, we may as well keep that. It's just like a fun, cute little thing. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on our desk. Girl, aren't you gonna go to bed? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, why is this so glitchy? Oh, and it's love day. No, no, I don't mean to end the love day. We wanna keep the love day. Oh my gosh, we have class in an hour. Everything is going poorly. We're starving, we need a pee, but we're gonna have to run a class anyway because all we care about is our grades. We're wearing the same outfit that we've been wearing for the last like three days in a row. It's just a hot mess. Oh, what? All of our needs just jumped. So wait, while you're at class, your needs go up? So if you're hungry, we eat in class, I guess? Our social just went up? Our bladder just went up? Okay, so you can go to class feeling really bad and at the end of class, you're gonna feel really good. I'm confused. <laughs> Aw, and she's already just sitting doing a homework. Good girl. What a studious woman. Hey, maybe we could, you know, share a little bit of love day spirit with Professor Jing. You know, we could just ask a few questions. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Jing Fen will be right over. Hey Jing, I just wanted to catch up before class just to, you know, ask you a few questions, introduce myself. I've been working on my homework, but I just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. <gasps> is that Mr. Jing? Oh my gosh, he is kind of handsome. Like he's an elder. He's, well, that was rude. He probably knows it's bad to meet up with a student, but you yeah, know. Well, maybe we should just go for someone our own age. It's just there's no hot guys at this uni. Like no one we're really attracted to. I guess we just gotta go to more meetups and try and meet a few more people. Okay, class time, last class for the day. And then I think on Monday, it's like our last day of term and we have the whole weekend to cram for our exam, which isn't really cramming in the Sims. We're gonna be able to do everything pretty easily and still have a good weekend. Oh wait, no, we have our elective after this class. <gasps> what? I should really get going now. Um, Mr. Jing, we didn't even see you. <gasps> There's a juice keg party down here. What is this? What is this party? Oh my gosh, I wanna join. Okay, when we get out of class, what is, what is happening right now? Are there any events on right now? What event is this? What event is this? This is the Brightchester Spirit Corps game day party. Let's go. Angela Pleasant is so small. What happened to Angela Pleasant? Um, Angela, you're teeny tiny. Oh, she's so cute. I knew I wanted to look after her. Wouldn't it be hilarious if she like rocked up as a toddler animation? Oh, 
Oh, she's the mascot. What is wrong with her? Is she like drunk or something? <gasps> no, don't give the bicycle. Don't give the bicycle. No, no. I didn't mean to give away our bicycle. Oh my God. We are trying way too hard to be friends with her. No, we just gave away an expensive. We can't afford to give away gifts like that. Oh yeah. You're feeling sad from giving a gift unsuccessfully. She didn't even appreciate it. What do you mean? Okay, that was so bad. Um, Let's just do a, let's see if Angela will do a juice keg stand with us. That's the least she can do. Oh, hey guys. Oh, they've all got like their, their paint on their faces, which is really cool. Ooh, Cameron Fletcher, wait, he has the same hair as a, our brother, but his last name's Fletcher, what? Oh my gosh, Angela. Angela, what is this? <laughs> Why aren't you wearing the head of it? Like, what? Okay, Angela, don't drop us. If you drop us... Oh, nice. Hey, yeah. Nice. She, I think she was a bit drunky, actually. Esports matches take place every Friday. Nice, nice. So, guys, I mean, they say you're attracted to people who look like your brother, right? Maybe we should introduce... Hey, this guy looks cool. Is he the mermaid guy? Spirit Corps member. I mean, maybe we should join the Spirit Corps as well. Look at their cute cardigans. Why is everyone walking away from me? No, don't leave me. What? Why are you guys, why are you playing so hard to get? Yay! <laughs> we gotta have a little bit of love day fun. Okay, so what do we do? We wanna show a little bit of romantic spirit. Uh, let's ask if he's single. I mean, that's okay. It doesn't necessarily mean we're hitting on him. It just basically means that we're really interested in hitting on him, right? So, uh, you part of the spirit corps. Do you, is your girlfriend part of them as well? Oh, you're single. That's cute. Okay, can we give you flowers? Oh, gosh. She's singing. She's stanking. Sorry, right. everyone has beer at university. Oh God, this is bad. He's not feeling the love day. Smooth recovery, smooth recovery. See, this is why we need to go for an older man because he's just gonna be a lot more mature about this. Actually, you know what? We could play a juice pong with him and get to know him better. <gasps> Lilith is here. Oh, I love the face paint. That's so cute. I just wish we didn't stink so much. It's hard to make friends when you smell. Like, it's a lot harder. I really wanna meet Lilith. Juice Pong, who's gonna win? This is a cute way to flow with a guy. Oh yeah, straight in. That's right. I actually happen to think I'm really good at beer pong. I mean, Juice Pong. You girls won a game in our glory days because my ex-boyfriend was really good at it and I always teamed up with him. It wasn't really me. But I claim it anyway. Go, 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 go. And, oh, that was awkward. Oh my gosh, she's crying because she didn't get it in. That's a little bit dramatic. I think you've had too much juice. Oh, um, uh, uh, what happened? I think he packed up a little early. What happened? Did we win? Did we win? I don't understand. Like we just, oh, I see the whole thing ended. That's so rude to just pack up the table while someone's still playing. Like what the truck? Let's do a funny introduction to this guy. High five. Spray with stink spray. Is that a mean thing or is that like a funny thing to do? <gasps> Take selfie with mascot. Please, can we can we keep the picture? Please. Take a photo with. Oh, we can get a photo with Angela after this guy. Why do I feel like this interaction isn't going as well? <gasps> we can flirt. I saw a flirt there. Ask if single. We'll just keep asking people if they're single. They don't seem to be offended that easily. <gasps> We're friends. That's nice. So uh, you got any lobster love going on here at uni? He's single. Everyone's single. This is the best. I want to know what Quinton looks like. That, you know, elusive nature that he has is really something that we're into. Let's show some love day spirit. Us to hang out. Let's all hang out. Let's hang out, you guys. Selfie time, Angela. Oh my gosh, we are such friend goals. <laughs> We're gonna be BFFs. We can't fit your big head in there. Cute. Best friends forever. 
Okay, well, Quentin didn't want to hang out with us, but whatever, rude, cool. I'll pretend not to be offended, but deep down I is. Uh, let's order some fruit. Let's get a Capri salad. We're going to go a little bit more healthy this time around. Hey, can I just get the salad tonight? So I'm a little smelly. I've been out on the greens all day. Oh my gosh, that is the smallest salad I've ever seen as a meal. It's like literally two pieces of tomato and huge pieces of feta cheese and three pieces of basil. That is not a meal. Do you reckon we've got babysitting um, opportunities on the weekend for work? I'm just gonna see what time the babysitting gig is because if we can work on the weekend, that would work really well because then we can do painting and work on the weekend. Babysitter, babysitter. Mm -hmm. Wait, is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday the days that we do work or the days we don't work? Uh, let's do the night shifts. Let's just hope it's on Saturday, Sunday. Work in 19 hours. Oh, good. So it means Saturday and Sunday. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, girl, you're already doing your homework? I, you know, I think, I know you're very studious. We know you like to be on top of everything, Florence. Like, you are the goals. But if you don't care, oh, my gosh, no. This is just embarrassing. Girl, go home. Go home. She's like that girl who wants to party, who wants to be involved, who wants to sign up to things, who wants to have the part-time job, but she's also gonna get to take care of herself or else her grades are going to suffer. Okay, uh, let's take a quick shower. I mean, is Sims going to get embarrassed when the other Sims go into the bathroom? Like, will they get an embarrassed moodlet? Oh, this girl looks cool. Who's this? She's got a uh, RBF, resting bish face. Oh my gosh, we were so dirty. We've taken a shower for literally an hour just to get cleaned up. Why are there so many people here? Why is Candy here? Oh my gosh, our roommate's so annoying. Can we like tell her to stop throwing parties? Roommate break up party? <gasps> what happens if we break up the party? We're gonna be like, look girl, I'm sorry. It's 4 a.m. Like I wanna go to bed and it's too loud. We are that person. Just like, hey, can you just like break it up, please? I just had a full day, it's 4 a.m. I want people coming into our room. Oh gosh, we're not getting along. I'm sorry, but like 4 a.m. It's, 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 it's just a little much. Complain about public affection. Oh, you know what? Yeah, while we're, while we're on the topic, can you also not be so PDA in front of me in our room? I always want to kick her out. She's annoying. She doesn't know. I feel mean. It's just awkward because we don't know her very well. So let's just like have a chat at least at the end of this. But like seriously, people, why? No one's even in our room and we're like, okay, you got to break up the party. I think we were a little oversensitive. <gasps> Ooh, more lobster thermidor there, yum. Oh, what? She wanted to go to bed as well. <gasps> debate showdown, get your debate pants on people. It's time for the debate guild's debate showdown. Oh, oh, I wanna go there. Oh my gosh, we, we are into debating a little bit. Let's have a quick meal. Let's have a quick cereal gonna go to debate time. Oh my gosh, what is happening down here, kids? <gasps> Santa's even here, debate member. Okay, that's that's an interesting choice. Debate showdown judge. We have judges here. Caleb is a judge, okay. <gasps> Look at them in their little outfits, so cute. Okay, okay, how do we participate, participate? Or should it be partisa debate? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you look so cute. You look so cute, girl. Your earrings. Oh, she looks nervous. She's like, okay, why did I sign up for this? That's like me. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm so keen. I'm so enthusiastic. And then it comes to it. I'm like, why did I do this to myself? Okay, that's a little in his personal space. Hi, you got this girl. You can do it. Don't worry. Don't be so unsure of yourself. Oh dear. We're not doing well. We're not doing well at all. Okay. Okay, you're not looking that confident either. She's really thinking about what points to make. I wonder what they're debating about. Maybe they're debating about this statue being defaced. Should we be allowed to throw toilet at the statue? I mean, toilet, toilet paper at the statue or not? It is wasteful. It is bad for the environment. Let's take that size, way easier. We got this. It's bad for the environment, it is bad for nature, and it's wasteful. Keep your toilet paper for your butts, people. Save it. And then they're gonna be like, well, we saw you yard bomb the statue. What do you have to say about that? Is toilet paper not the same thing? Florence, I think you're contradicting yourself. 
well, that is art, and I'm an art student. Don't bore me with your lame argument. Oh, she looked nasty. She's like, I just like doing my art, okay? Everyone should be able to express themselves. Well, if you express yourself with yard bombing, why can't you express yourself with toilet paper? Hmm? Yay! Wait, did we just get money? Oh my gosh, we just won $478 because we won? We won a professional debate? Shut the front door. And how did our debate skill not go up? I really thought it would have gone up a notch. Yay! I'm so proud of us. And she's like, and on that note, I will be cleaning up this toilet paper myself. Well, that was fun, you guys. Let's get some high energy protein plate. Thanks, mate. Oh, hey, friend. Hello. Let's do a friendly introduction. Hey, I know you. You're from Sulani. Let's do a friendly introduction for sure. I like that we have a protein plate. Hey, I wonder if we get up and practice over here on the debating, uh, if we're gonna get a little bit of fun out of that or not. A cow plants, cow plants. Oh, a cow plants, cows or plants. A gnome's cute or creepy. A swimming pool's inherently deadly. Uh, sure, let's do that with Angela. See if our fun goes up from a little healthy debate or not, or if our fun's gonna go down, I'm curious. But I'm, I'm feeling like, cause we're confident, with debating now that we won a professional debate, we might be even more likely to win it. Our fun is definitely not going up, by the way, but our skill level is, so let's keep it up. We got a little bit of an audience here. Nice one, Sam. Let's research the secret society. Where's the secret society? Oh, yay! What? We, what? What? We finished our aspiration then? No. Okay, well, at like one level of it. So we need to finish a course with an A grade, which I feel like we're on the road to doing. We need to attend some guests. We need to attend three guest lectures. They're like $250 a pop. Achieve level five research and debate skill. Okay. Florence now completes her homework at an accelerated rate. She can prepare for debate at the electromagnetic research archive machine and convince other Sims to bathe or do a keg stand. Nice. Wait. Didn't we have work today? Oh my gosh, did we not go to work? Did we just skip work? Oh my gosh, we're so unreliable. Well, anyway, you guys, I might finish off this part right here. And then in the next part, uh, well, we're gonna be taking our final test because it'll be the end of term in the next part of this. So, and we just crossed over into summer as well. So let me know in the comments down below if you think we should get our tune on with a professor or if we should maybe pursue somebody else. Just let me know. I liked Cameron. I thought Cameron was cute. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.